Fasting and autophagy really go hand in hand. Autophagy is such a benefit to the human body. We know that it is a process of self-eating in the human body, where basically it's recycling old cells, getting rid of them, such as getting rid of the old rust in our body and regenerating new cells in our system. By doing this, there's so many ways to actually improve autophagy. In fact, I've talked about different foods that you can use to improve autophagy, and I'll leave a link right above here if you've not seen that video already. But not only is fasting probably the best way of increasing or actually activating autophagy levels, there is other things that you can also implement to even increase those levels while you're fasting. Here we're going to look at my top four different teas that you can actually use while fasting or when you're not fasting to improve your autophagy levels. So stay tuned right after this intro. Hey, what's up fasters? Dr. Legrand here. If you have not subscribed already, you can hit that subscribe button. If you wanna know more about fasting, we talk about fasting every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's go ahead and dive into the topic. So I'm gonna talk about my four top types of teas that you can use to increase the autophagy levels while you are fasting or when you're not fasting. So the first tea is green tea. Now green tea has been shown in a lot of studies and a lot of research that there's a lot of benefits when it comes to implementing green tea into your diet. Not only does it help improve the body's function, but it also helps fight off different diseases in the human body. According to one study, green tea has shown that it not only does improve the effects of autophagy, but it also helps with kidney injury and other conditions. In the study, what they did is they induced damaged kidneys in mice. And with that, it also deactivated the process of autophagy in the body. Then they moved towards where they administered green tea polyphenols when they observed after a certain amount of time, they found that not only did autophagy levels were activated and improved, but it also helped and improved the damaged kidney cells that were already induced beforehand. So that really did help improve the kidneys as well as increase autophagy levels. The second tea is turmeric tea. Now turmeric has been known to be used in lots of different foods, but also used medicinally for a lot of different conditions. And what is really important is the particular ingredient that is extracted from that plant called curcumin. This particular ingredient not only does help improve the body's immunity and decrease inflammation, but also reduces oxidative stress in the human body. But even for myself, I like to use this type of ingredient, curcumin, amongst my patients to not only just help with their inflammation, whether it might be joint inflammation, gut inflammation, but also help improve their liver. Curcumin is a great way to help improve the liver if you're dealing with any kind of liver conditions. According to one study, curcumin was found to be an actual active modulator for autophagy. And in another study, it found that curcumin can be a very effective way of activating autophagy so well that it also can be an assisting treatment for oral cancer. The third one is ginger tea. Now ginger tea is a great way for, especially for beginning fasters, people who are doing intermittent fasting, to really benefit through the autophagy effects when we do fasting. So if you implement ginger tea, it has been shown to really improve those levels of autophagy. In one study, they found that 6-shogol, which is a phytochemical in ginger, found in ginger root, that has increased the levels of autophagy, but also is a type of phytochemical that activates autophagy in our body. But what's even more fascinating, in particular, a study showed that ginger tea can be so effective with increasing the autophagy levels that it can be helpful in assisting in colon cancer. The fourth and final but not least type of tea is reishi mushroom. Now this particular mushroom has been studied a lot, especially when it comes to around with treating of cancer. In fact, where I went to uh, Nature Public Medical School up at Bastyr University, they did a lot of research with UW trying to find the benefits of reishi mushroom for the effects of breast cancer. Now reishi mushrooms are either brewed through a powder or also brewed straight from the mushroom itself. In one study, they took a patient that had cancer cells and they extracted those cancer cells and observed it with reishi mushrooms. And what they found is that with the reishi mushrooms, it increased the autophagy levels as well as fighting off the cancer cells. 
Another study showed that reishi mushrooms also increased autophagosomes. Now autophagosomes is a very important process in the autophagy process. Also the reishi mushrooms improved LC32 cells, which is a particular protein that needs to be engulfed during the process of autophagy. So it helped improve obviously autophagy effects through that. So there you have it. There are the four top teas that I do recommend for increasing autophagy levels while you're fasting. These are things that you can implement all the time, even when you're not fasting, to really help benefit from not just with autophagy, but there's also so many other benefits for your body when you start implementing in this fasting. In fact, I should start drinking more tea uh, when it comes to these kind of benefits. Now that I've made this video, I realize I should probably drink more of these types of teas into my diet, not just taking it through a tincture or taking it internally with a pill. So what do you guys think? Is there any other teas that you like that you think helps increase your autophagy levels? Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. I know the community will really appreciate it if you do. And if it's your first time on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to know more about fasting videos here on this channel. And then if you want to know more about autophagy, I'll leave a playlist over here. And then if you want to know more about fasting, go ahead and check out this playlist over here. Till next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Thanks.